everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today what we're going to do is take a look at one of Paula Young's spiky razor cut pixies. I know you're going to love her so stay tuned. Hi everybody my name is Sandy and this is Coco's Hair Solutions. Today what we're going to do is an unboxing of Rain by Paula Young. She is a razor cut spiky pixie with some longer front side fringe. And she is a darling little wig. So we're gonna take a look at her today and out of the box, straight out of the box. Okay, but let's take a look at the dimensions. Well, um, we'll have to take a look at the box first. All right, so here's her information, 51 slash 60. The letters SF in front of that mean that it's a salon quality um, hair coloring. So instead of just having a solid blend all the way through the whole wig, having the, the front and the, the top be blended this, with the same colors as the back and the nape, SF means that you're going to find it to be more like what you would find if you went and had your hair done at a salon. You're going to have brighter highlights around the face and on the top and crown. Um, and then you're going to have it gradually taper down to a darker shade, maybe a little less less uh, highlighting on the bottom. And that's what you're gonna see on this pixie. You'll be able to see that a whole lot better. Okay, so let's take a look. Look at where she, what she looks like out of the box. Okay, in the box, she's nestled inside of the crate and she's got a net around her, all around here. Let's take this net off. And obviously she's got all her tags on there, which can be a challenge with the netting. Okay, we'll take her out of that. All right, well, let's take a look at the cap construction first, all right? She is a whisper light. She's part of the whisper light line of wigs. So that means, number one, that the hair fibers are very, very thin. Very, uh, they're a fraction of the width of the other normal Kanekalon uh, wig fibers. So that makes her very lifelike. It makes the hairs very fine, makes them movable and realistic. On top of that, it makes it very lightweight. The wig itself is 2.2 um, uh, ounces, so she's very, very light. Let's take a look at the crown in the front. So we have a really nice wide velvet band right here up in front to prevent itchiness at the front. We've got open wefting and open cap construction. We have the, a little bit more lace, the rose lace on the top and crown that allows for a little bit of permatease. Okay, and then on the sides we have wefting and of course the back wefting all the way around. We have open ear tabs and again we've got, we see the same stitching from the underside of this temple to um, sideburn area where the hairs are coming out from underneath the wig cap, which gives it a very realistic look. And you don't have to worry about showing too much of your normal hairline over there underneath. Okay, it does not have an extended nape. It's just a normal nape, but it does have the Velcro, the Velcro adjusters right here. So what we can do is make sure that that's gonna fit around. I wanna lay the tags a little bit flatter so that I'm able to put this on. Okay, so now let's take a look just out of the box. Look at, you can tell already she's kind of spiky and she's meant to be spiky. And um, here is that beautiful silvery moon salon hair color placement. So you can tell by the nape of the neck, the mid back down to the nape, it is darker and it will give you that darker appearance with lighter highlights on the top crown and front. Now let's take a look at this. You can, if you look very specifically, you can see some of the wefting in there. This is another reason why I um, advocate maybe adding a little darkness in there, or if you don't want that rooted look, what you can do is make sure that you strategically lay lay the hairs in a way so that they do cover that wefting. That's part of what makes her very lightweight and part of what makes uh, Polly Young wigs so affordable with their price point. 
Okay, so this is what she looks like on the front out of the box. It looks like we might have a little box hair, but let's find out. Okay, before I take and put her on, what I'm wearing today happens to be Dahlia by um, Polly Young in the color Pecan Rooted. And I will put the link to her review and where you can find her online. So this is one of my go-tos as well. I really like Dahlia, but let's take a look at Rain. Okay, so you wanna shake her, activate that permatease, get those fibers up off of the cap so that it doesn't look quite so much like there's a lot of, uh, a lot of um, box hair. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put her on. Okay, the cap is Polly Young comfortable, okay? But I do know that because of the shape or the length of my bone structure, I'm going to have a little bit shorter evidence of grow out here, or at least the wig is not gonna cover me as much. But look at what she looks like already. Oh my gosh, what fun. I could just leave her like this. And how fun is this? Look at how spiky she is. Okay, what I can do, we can do all kinds of fun things with her. All right, so do I want to keep my bangs like this? Well, I might. But I do want to make sure that I'm pulling all of these little hairs forward to cover my sideburns. And then I'm going to make sure that I have this pulled down far enough on my wig grip band. Okay, and is this... Oh gosh, what fun. Okay, let's take a spin. Just, this is out of the box. All right, take a look. Look at the profile. How's the profile? Does she have lots of, lots of stuff here? It does feel like it's longer. We'll have to take, we'll have to take a look at the dimensions here while I have her on. Okay, so the front is four and three quarters inch. Well, I'm kind of thinking, well, yeah, yeah, this might be four and three quarters here. The top is three and a half, so it's gonna get shorter pretty quick right up here and be spiky. The crown is three. That says the sides are three, but I might, this might not be completely accurate because those three inch sides are not coming down very far. Um, the upper back is two and a half inches and then the nape is one and a half inch. So I don't have a whole lot of extra, extra coverage down here, but it does cover enough. So I might need to work with this, but already I can tell I love the way this looks so funky. Is that, that the vibe you get off of it too? Oh, it just looks really funky. So let's let's play with it a little bit. I can pull it forward, do a little mohawk here. <laughs> if, if I was gonna go to the Rolling Stones concert, I might wear this. <laughs> oh my gosh, and then you can comb it forward. Of course, always making sure that things lay down. I might have to take a look at the back and see what what the back looks like so that I can make sure and I probably might need to do some training with it. But this is rain. Now if I want to comb her backwards and lift her way up, oh I can certainly do that, couldn't I? Get a lot of fun. And of course a real easy way to do this is by taking and wetting your hands, just getting them wet and and getting it, all the little hairs uh, damp all over. Um, if you want to use some hairspray to keep it in place, I recommend that you use an alcohol-free hairspray. Polly Young has their own brand. There are lots of wig brands on um, Amazon. You can do uh, take a look and get any of those, um, and they would work really well. We don't want alcohol in our hairsprays because it will dry out and stiffen the hair fibers very quickly. So you'll lessen the life or require your, yourself to, to uh, wash the wigs more frequently. But this is rain. Oh my goodness, what fun. If you like that messy kind of funky look, this is the girl for you. And uh, I find her to be a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, she's great. Little bit more funky than 
what I'm used to, but oh, how fun. Isn't that kind of the idea between going pixie short, just maybe to add something a little sassy? <laughs> anyway, so I hope that this has been an informational video for you. Now we can comb her down. Let's see, make her flat, make her come forward. Oh my goodness, I might have a little bit more fun with her. But this is this is a, a, a real fun little wig. So anyway, now you get to see her up close. Again, let's take a look at this. If I comb all the hair forward or at least have it lifted, I don't think you could, you'll see much in the way of wefting. So one more little spin. And that's what we're going to call good for rain. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure and give me a thumbs up uh, in the comments section. And if you'd like, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to see you come back again. I've got lots and lots of ideas for my videos. So looking forward to seeing you next time. Okay, bye-bye.